Taliban are declaring today a national holiday in Afghanistan. The Afghan people celebrating victory in America's retreat under President Biden after a brutal 20-year war. Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen joins us live from Tel Aviv with the story. Good morning, Daniel. And good morning to you, Allison. Good morning, everyone. Today marks one year since the removal of all U.S. troops from Afghanistan. President Biden's hasty and chaotic exit led to the deaths of 13 American service members and, as Secretary of State Mike Pompeo put it, broadcast American weakness to the world. For the Taliban, it's a day of victory. Fireworks light up the night sky in Kabul Tuesday. The colorful display, a show of triumph, marking the first anniversary of President Biden's withdrawal of U.S. forces. In Massoud Square, near the former U.S. Embassy, armed fighters hoisting the Taliban flag chant, Death to America. The celebrations continuing Wednesday. In this photo, more than a dozen Taliban fighters parade through the streets on an American-made Humvee, part of the billions of dollars of American military equipment left behind by President Biden, now in the hands of our enemies. What happened in Afghanistan was unnecessary. Fred Flights is vice chair of the America First Policy Institute and former NSC chief of staff and CIA analyst. He describes our pullout from Afghanistan as a failure on every level, going all the way to the commander in chief. Mr. Biden is much older now. We know he's suffering from mental decline. I think he's put together the weakest and most incompetent foreign policy in history. He thinks the main national security threat facing our country is climate change and flying Black Lives Black Lives Matter uh, flags at U.S. embassies. Uh, our enemies have taken delight at this. While the Taliban project success, reality is life in Afghanistan has gotten much worse, especially for women. Last week, the Taliban declared only male students are permitted to fly out of the country for studies. Women are no longer allowed to leave to try to pursue an education. Women, with few exceptions, can't work, can't go to school past the sixth grade, can't leave home by themselves, and many are forced into early marriage. Since President Biden allowed the Taliban to return to power, Afghanistan's economy has crumbled further, poverty has worsened, and one year later, flights acknowledged this. Afghanistan became a terrorist safe haven. We need al-Qaeda is there, ISIS is there, the Taliban is there. He just wanted to get our troops out before the anniversary of 9-11, and he rushed them out because he wanted to have bragging rights to talk about on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. It's just shameful, and, and we know what the cost was to America's servicemen and women. Afghanistan's Taliban rulers still haven't been recognized by any other nation. Despite the restrictions to women and a deepening humanitarian crisis, the celebrations are still going strong today, Allison, including a military parade at Bagram Air Base.